Hello loves, welcome back to Wonder Tarot and if you are new to this channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Taurus's energy for your July love reading, you versus them for July 2024. So let's go ahead and tap in to the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Taurus. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring the messages that are trying to find them at this time. Right. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. If you are not a fan of shuffling, you are more than welcome to fast forward. I do not have timestamps. Alright. Spirit, the person that's on Taurus's mind, how do they currently see Taurus? For the month of July 2024. How does the person in Taurus's mind currently see Taurus? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. What is the person on Taurus's mind's intentions with Taurus at this time? And what is their next likely action? during the month of July 2024. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, uh, let's go ahead and move to your energy, Taurus, Spirit, Guides, Universe. How does Taurus currently see the person that's on their mind in the month of July 2024? Upright or reverse, one card, nothing off the ground, Spirit. How does Taurus currently see the person? Taurus's intentions towards the person on their mind during the month of July, Spirit. Spirit guides the universe. What are Taurus's intentions? Towards the person on their mind. And what advice do you have here for Taurus regarding the person that's on their mind during the month of July 2024, Spirit? What advice do you have here for Taurus? Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and say that shuffling for your energy, there was a lot of needing to put the cards back together, to keep reshuffling, to um, not necessarily a scattered energy, but more of like a needing to uh, 
continuously readjust, so maybe there's some interruptions going on in your energy that you had to keep kind of um, grounding yourself in or from. So let's see uh, what else is going on. So Taurus for the month of July 2024, the person on your mind, the way that they see you or are going to see you um, is justice in reverse. They may feel that you see something, maybe misreading something, maybe they feel like you're misunderstanding something, whether it's about yourself or in this connection. Spirit, can you clarify justice in reverse? We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. So they see you as maybe not believing that this is something that is either for you or believing that it's as good as it feels. Maybe you're misunderstanding. They, they see you as feeling some type of way um, regarding... this connection you're not as almost like they see you as not seeing it as genuine in regards to their intentions towards you during the month of july taurus we've got temperance in reverse spirit can you clarify the temperance in reverse regarding the person that's on taurus's mind their intentions towards taurus We've got Judgment in Reverse and the Emperor in Reverse. Interesting. So their intentions may either be to try to take their hands off the wheel here, try not to be in control. So this can either be trying to not be in control, trying to kind of step back from that. It could also mean overly trying to control. Um, with the judgment in reverse here and the temperance, it's almost like wanting to possibly let divine intervention happen, um, their intentions are possibly let things flow, uh, let things happen without as much of their participation. In regards to their most, uh, their next likely action towards you, we've got the Ace of Cups, so that right there is showing up out of love. I'm not sure if it's actually like a offer, but it's definitely try their next likely action is to speak from the heart to kind of maybe start over in some way in regards to understanding. With their intentions, it's 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 coming across as Possibly they, them not feeling like there's necessarily healing. Uh, it's almost like they don't want to, they don't want to, they possibly may not want to participate. Their intentions may not, may be to not intervene in your own healing. To kind of step back from that vulnerability that's like your work to do maybe. Um, Spirit, what's the Ace of Cups here for their next likely action towards Taurus for the month of July? We've got the moon. So...
their next likely action is to show love in some way that is not obvious or straightforward. Maybe like show ways that they care about you in in a more hidden way, whether that's nonverbal or with their intentions here. Maybe they're showing that they care. So this to you may feel like they are stepping away, giving up, but I th it looks like you're the person on your mind sees something here that's coming up. They see you in some space where you kind of need to do your own, like you need to search your own soul. You need to find some answers on your own here that they can't really help you with to an extent. They're trusting that maybe spirit can, can help you. So their intentions are to kind of maybe take their hands off of trying to intervene. Again, their next likely action is to possibly, it's probably uh, intertwined here with their intention, is, is to show you how they care by letting you see how you can show up for yourself. Moving over to your energy, Taurus, the way that you see your person, the person that's on your mind towards the month of July, we've got the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse. So um, off the bat, you see them, maybe you see them in a space where you don't feel like you can trust them. There's some sort of like feeling on edge some paranoia here, fatigue, lack of motivation, feeling like there's trickery here uh, happening. Spirit, can you clarify what's going on here in regards to how Taurus sees the person on their mind during the month of July? The Two of Pentacles. So I think I think you see them. I I, I think you see them in a, in in uh, it's because it's kind of contradictive here. It's like you, it's like they're letting their walls down. Possibly, but in a sneaky way. Again, there's like the way you're picking up what they're doing and how they're showing up, which is seems genuine. Um, you see it as like something you feel like you have to figure out. Maybe you feel like there's some contradicting facts here. Maybe you feel like you don't have all the information. Again, there's like this struggle and paranoia in how you or looking at them. And and they seem to be picking up on that too. They see you as not knowing what this connection is supposed to bring. Maybe they see you questioning being able to be in the moment or to enjoy what energy is present. Maybe they see you in a space of assuming what it's going to be like versus experiencing what is happening. And you see them as being um, possibly in and out, unclear, confusing, and consistent. In regards to your intentions towards the person that's on your mind during the month of July, Taurus, we've got the Hermit, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. So your intentions are to go within yourself, hold on to the stability that you do have, maybe take back the offer or hold it back or delay it. Your intentions are to kind of keep to yourself here. Maybe you feel like this was taken away or it never was available. Spirit, can you clarify these cards in regards to Taurus's intentions. Yeah, you are 
possibly not saying the things that you're thinking, um, maybe because you know it's coming from a place of um, having thought this was going somewhere else, having um, knowing that you don't have all the information, you're kind of trying to maintain your composure here, you're trying to look within here yourself. It may be a little painful with the strength here. It doesn't come out unless it's called for, so maybe it doesn't feel that good here to feel like there must, there might have not ever been a offer, or it just maybe you built up what the offer looked like versus what it is. Maybe you put a lot of weight on it, and there's some things that are coming to light here that are making you feel like something's off or no longer available. The advice here from Spirit for you regarding the person that's on your mind for the month of July is the High Priestess. Uh, to go trust your intuition um, based on like your, your, your knowledge, right? You need to trust yourself and what, you, what is sensitive, right? You have morals and values and, um, spirit. What's the high priestess here for advice for a Taurus regarding the person that's on their mind for the month of July? Queen of Wands in reverse. If this connection or what this person is doing is making you feel less inspired, period, like in your life, that's something to look at, to, to understand yourself and what is happening that is possibly triggering something within you. Spirit, can you add one more here as advice for uh, Queen of Wands in Reverse and High Priestess for Taurus? One more for advice, Spirit. For Taurus, the month of July 2024, regarding the person that's on their mind. The Nine of Pentacles. I think this connection came to show you something about yourself, about what you can do for yourself. Where have you lacked or delayed or blocked yourself from something? I think that this being advice is also possibly something that you're already picking up on. I think you're noticing that possibly the purpose of this connection or, or how this person is showing up is to show you where there is work needed to be done within yourself for yourself versus doing it for someone. And so if you feel, if you're picking up that this person is kind of showing you, right, your, possibly your, your weaknesses or parts that you have kind of silenced or, yeah, there's some sort of lack of motivation here that's being shown to you through your intuition. Also, how you can be independent and really feel good in your own energy, in your own space, without feeling like you need something outside of yourself. How you can accomplish things for yourself in ways that you have kind of, again, delayed or gotten in your own way. This person stepping back, Taurus, is showing you something really valuable here. And it's almost like they know that. Maybe you're doing something here in a way that they can tell. 
that what they're doing is somehow working regarding what you need to do for yourself versus the connection. They want to maybe make sure you're not doing it for them, to prove to them. And your intentions being the hermit, right? And kind of taking control of your own stability here uh, apart from the connection. In a way, they see that that is how they've been able to show up for you in your life, whether that's something that you, you know, is the reason why you disconnect from them or... Either way, your advice here is to kind of pick up what you're being shown. Look at, observe what you're being shown here. What is being triggered? What is being brought up to the surface based on how this person has shown up? What they have brought up? All right, so I'm going to pull some guidance here, Taurus, for you. See what else spirit might have for you. Spirit, what guidance do you have for Taurus for the month of July 2023 regarding this situation, this relationship, this relationship with themselves? What guidance do you have for Taurus overall at this time? So we have two cards. Usually I put them back and shuffle, but I'm feeling guided to read both of these for you. So I'm going to display one first, the apocalypse. I'm going to read from the book for you. So, apocalypsis indicates a particularly painful time, one that unfolds when two desperate dynamics occur simultaneously, pulling the psyche in seemingly opposing directions. The first is a lifting of the veil. Um, this means truths that have been kept in the dark are revealed, seen, and unearthed. No matter how revealing it is to witness them come into the light, an element of despair and grief follows. The second dynamic is the regeneration that comes from the, re the wreckage of the revealed truth. The old narrative breaks and a new story forms. Apocalypsis energy is similar to a uh, forest fire's uh, devastation for the sake of regeneration. The veil lifts, and we see who and what has been hiding. From the nakedness of the truth, a child is born. Have faith in the process. Hold on to your center. That is the only way. So your intentions being the strength is definitely already on the same page of what this is trying to display to you. All kinds of things will be revealed during a time of apocalypsis, from big global lies to little white ones that lace the bedroom sheets. Brace yourself for the horse of truth to storm your energy field. So there is a lot coming to light here. And there's a lot of like unknown energy that's coming up. And maybe it's because you possibly haven't connected to energies similar to this. This particular person was, was supposed to show you certain things that are going to possibly change the direction of the rest of your life. And a lot of people do that. They come in and 
They serve a purpose of showing us parts of ourselves that without that connection we might have not recognized. So it's almost like shedding of skin here. This kind of looks like snake shed, when snake sheds the skin. Alright, so moving to your next guidance card, we've got the Eternal Child. All right, Tor Taurus. Um, the eternal child is connected to the timeless, ageless, and infinite aspects of life. It is radiant and fearless and seeks joy above all else and at any cost. It struggles being bound to an aging body with physical limitations in a world that demands attention to detail and logistics. The eternal child wants to nix all rules and responsibilities and go beyond what others say is possible. It wants to return with plenty of friends to the land of the free where divine wine and creativity pour from the earth and sky. We all want a sip from the well of eternal youth, and this makes the eternal child naturally popular, perhaps even famous. The eternal child glimmers. It reminds us of what is possible, what is magical about this precious life. This archetype is so spirited that when its appetite for life isn't satisfied, it seeks spirits and substance elsewhere. The eternal child struggles with addictions of all varieties. So maybe in a way spirit's kind of showing you here again with the high priestess as your advice with what you're probably going to find while you're kind of, your intention is to kind of go into a hermit mode here to kind of look within yourself. There may have been something here that you have kind of delayed and that might have been again this needing to see your potential needing to give yourself more credit, be gentle with yourself. So maybe there had been some habits or behavior or mindsets that you have been in that have, again, been in you, I don't know, displayed you being in your own way of, of particular healing, of particular happiness, of particular stability, particular independence getting things done, checking things off your list, to-do list. There's some sort of history of pushing, procrastinating, delay that's being shown to you that's motivating you to really start taking your, your power back here. And something within this person that you have connected with has shown you, is showing you, those things maybe you're starting to kind of get things done and and you're kind of witnessing the results of how that feels to do so and that's motivating you to get the next thing done kind of thing whether that's healing or physical things and security material it kind of feels like it's overall though in all aspects of your life you're kind of being you're kind of showing yourself, proving to yourself here what you're capable of and almost reminding yourself of what you've forgotten. All right, loves, that is what I have for you for now. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll do my best to elaborate any questions that you have. I'd love to hear if this resonates, if it does. And until next time, and always sending you love, Taurus, you've got this.